Welcome back guys, Kibla Ahmed out here, I hope you guys have been well, massive thank you to you guys, you guys are absolutely amazing uh, It's been an overwhelming feeling, the channel has grown by itself and you guys have supported it and you guys are still watching, liking, disliking, commenting It's absolutely amazing, you know, you can't ask for anything better Remember guys, I only share my thoughts, my reactions on how I feel about it I'm not going to ruin the movie for you, I don't do spoilers no more, I know I did it in the past But I think I've come to a point now where it's not fair on the people, the fans uh, and I want to just give you my honest opinion about what I thought at the time when I watched the movie as well. So today, guys, I'm going to uh, review or react to a movie I watched a couple of days ago called Bilal, A New Breed of Hero. Uh, I'm going to read the synopsis because uh, I don't remember everything always. And every time I try and tell a part of the story, I maybe muddle it up and the excitement takes over. But over a thousand years ago, a boy with dreams of being a great warrior and his sister... Him and his sister are abducted and taken far to a faraway land, growing up in a world with greed and injustice. He finds courage to make a change. Okay, guys, uh, again, I'm going to, let me IMDB this. And, and, and this movie was actually made like two, three years ago. Never got released in the UK uh, because it comes from an, is, like a, it's got an Islamic background to it. Bilal was the first uh, black uh, guy to do the Azan, which is the calling for prayer. Uh, but he was a warrior in the process as well. Now this film was absolutely beautiful. I, 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 I was gripped by the animation. I was gripped by the story. You know, it's always nice to see uh, just an amazing story told in animation form. I'm a big fan of animation. I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm a sketch artist myself, so I, I, I fall in love with it every time I see it. So it's a really nice story of this child who goes through so much darkness, uh, goes through slavery, and to free himself from uh, the chains that we all have. You know, we have invisible chains on us. We let society and things around us chain us to things. And this movie really opened up on that subject. And then, you know, Islam as well. Like, you know, they, you had Hamza in there, you had all the guys from the Quran, you had all the people at that time there all being together, fighting this cause. Uh, and Bilal's story is absolutely beautiful. I, I, I even got teary towards the end because I just felt like, you know, these things still happen to this day. Absolutely, it's, it's so scary. So the director's name is uh, Karam H. Uh, and one other director on here as well. Let me just get that. So Karim H. Alive and uh, Amian Jamal. Uh, and the animation is absolutely beautiful, guys. Like, it's really good. And the soundtrack, you had Akon on the last bit of the track as well, uh, was really good. Uh, that You had Ian McShane uh, and uh, Adwella Acuno Agabi. Hopefully I said that right. No offense, dude. Uh, but guys, if you get the chance, like I said, it's a, you know, it's a very historic movie. And for... Us Muslims, it's a, it's a part of uh, <clears throat> showing us what free will can do and how much and where we can take it to. Uh, a beautiful story, beautiful movie, beautiful animation, beautiful soundtrack. Uh, it is definitely one to watch, guys. It, it will give you a bit of history as well about uh, the background of how Islam, before Islam came. This movie doesn't preach, and that's the best part of what I love about this movie. This movie does not preach about like force feed you Islam. It tells you a story about this child growing up in slavery and freeing himself from those invisible chains to become the guy he is to this day, the legend, the 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 the, the, the legacy that he left behind. So absolutely beautiful story guys. One to watch if you get the chance. Check it out. Uh, it is available to I think it's available to download and uh, you can get it rented. I think I don't think it's on Netflix yet. It should be though. I'm very upset that it didn't come out in the UK in the cinemas. I know it's probably selected, but I didn't know. I'm very upset about that. Uh, but then I think because of the message behind it, there's an underlining, you know, that part about that. There's a part about invisible change that we hold because of our surroundings and society. And it really dug deep into me. And we all hold it in us. Uh, this movie shows that you could be more and do more. Uh, and I actually cannot wait till my child arrives into this world to show him that movie, to him or her that movie, for them to know 
that you you don't have to be binded you don't have to be chained invisibly you can do whatever you want and how you want to do it and become who do you who you want to be and who you you know going to be in the process i will help you along the way but anyway i'm not going to get too emotional guys i want to say a massive thank you guys for watching the channel you guys are absolutely amazing and uh, i'll catch you guys up on my next review one love peace